What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new camera comparison video. Well, this camera comparison video isn't exactly fair because we have a budget phone, we have the Huawei P30 Lite and then we have a flagship, we have the Huawei P30 Pro. So this is a phone that you can buy for around $1,000 and this is a phone that you can buy for around $350. So we have a very big price difference and we already know that the P30 Pro will do better. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to actually show you what you can do with a budget phone like the Huawei P30 Lite. So throughout this video we're going to check out some daytime pictures and I've also included some pictures taken with the ultra wide lenses on the back of these two phones. I've included some portrait mode pictures, then I'll show you some regular pictures taken during the day. Then we'll move to some nighttime pictures, then we'll check out some sample videos and all the way at the end um, you can check out some selfies. And I think we should start um, with some daytime pictures. Alright, so we are starting with the pictures taken with the ultra wide lenses. Well, in most of these pictures, the dynamic range is better in the pictures taken by the P30 Pro, but not in all of them. Some of the ones taken by the P30 Pro look a bit better and have somewhat more natural looking colors. Because as you can probably see for yourself, the saturation seems to go a bit crazy in some of those pictures taken by the P30 Pro. So it is pretty cool to see a ultra wide lens on a budget friendly phone and I don't think there are any other budget friendly phones that come with an ultra wide lens. Well, I may be wrong. Moving on to portrait mode pictures. Well here most of the pictures taken by the Huawei P30 Pro look a bit more appealing and mostly because the colors pop a bit more. Aside from that the edge detection is pretty good from both devices but of course it is a bit better from the P30 Pro and mostly because we have that time of flight sensor. But overall I still think that the P30 Lite did quite decent taking pictures, portrait mode pictures, mostly taking in consideration its price. And lastly we are moving on to regular daytime pictures. Here the main difference is the better dynamic range and picture sharpness on the pictures taken by the P30 Pro. But of course that was kind of to be expected, mostly taking in consideration the price difference. As for color accuracy I believe that the P30 Pro does a bit better as well. Um, however taking in consideration the price of the P30 Lite I think it does pretty good to daytime pictures overall. So I'll let you guys watch a few more pictures um, so you can make up your own mind and I'll come back right after that. And we are moving on to nighttime pictures. Well, for nighttime pictures, the Huawei P30 Pro is known as the phone that takes the best nighttime pictures. So, of course, the P30 Lite is not gonna do better than it. But um, for a phone around $350, I think it did really, really good for nighttime pictures. Not to mention that both devices have a night mode. So, I'll let you guys check out those pictures and I'll come back right after them. And we are moving on to a quick video test. Well, the Huawei P30 Lite can only record in 1080p with the rear cameras, therefore I had to record in 1080p with the P30 Pro as well. The color accuracy from those videos seems to be better from the P30 Pro and also the sound, but only by, um, by a bit. So for a phone around $350, I think the P30 Lite does pretty good for video recording. So let's check those out. Alright, we have a quick um, video test between the Huawei P30 Pro and the Huawei P30 Lite. 
So I'm currently recording in 1080p because the P30 Lite can only record in 1080p with the P30 Pro would be able to record in 4K at 30 frames per second. So to make this comparison as fair as possible, I am recording in 1080p with the, both devices. So basically walking and with a bit of wind, this is how recording from these two devices would look like. And we have yet another video test between the Huawei P30 Lite and the Huawei P30 Pro. So once again I am recording in 1080p because with the P30 Lite I cannot record um, in um, 4K 30 frames per second. So basically walking and with a bit of wind this is how recording from these two devices would look like. And I'm gonna pan left for a bit here and then back right. and then I'll keep walking for a bit. So under these conditions, this is how a recording from these two devices would look like. All right, we have a quick video test between the Huawei P30 Lite and the Huawei P30 Pro. Now, the P30 Lite can only record in 1080p, therefore um, we're doing this test in 1080p. So, at nighttime and walking, this is how a recording from these two devices would look like. So I'm gonna pan left a bit here, so you can definitely see more um, with the P30 Pro. I'm gonna keep panning. So once again we can see way more um, with the P30 Pro. But for a budget device I think the P30 Lite does pretty good um, in low light. And lastly we're gonna check out some selfies. Well the results here were kind of similar and I was kind of expecting that the P30 Pro would do better but no it hasn't done that much better. I mean the dynamic range seems to be a bit better in some of those pictures but not um, by um, that much. Not to mention that for nighttime pictures some of the selfies taken by the P30 Lite seem to be a bit better. So yeah, the selfies aren't that amazing from either device if you ask me. But yeah, these are some selfies taken with these two phones. And it's time to conclude this video. So the P30 Pro is almost three times more expensive than the P30 Lite, but I don't think the pictures taken by the P30 Pro are three times better. So this video was just meant to show that you can still take decent looking pictures with a budget phone like the P30 Lite. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.